G'day guys, it's Stas here. It's early in the morning. The sun's just coming up in the sky. The birds singing quietly to themselves. And of course the HLT is up to temperature. We're about to bash in on a beer. This is the Resilience Beer All Grain Kit from Beer Co. Hey guys, I just thought I'd interrupt here. It's probably worth me mentioning, just to avoid any confusion uh, regarding this recipe. The recipe that you get um, with this work and with this grain kit, uh, it does give you full instructions in terms of target gravity, uh, IBU, approximate ABV, uh, bitterness ratio, color, and everything. And there is a step by and there is a step by step guide. If you want to pause it there. Um, <clears throat> which tells you how to do it. I chose to put that recipe into Brewfather uh, so I could fine tune it to my specific equipment. This of course is an optional step which is not uh, required, but that's what I did. I'll just quickly put up my Brewfather recipe on screen. It's pretty much the same thing except some of my um, gravity units are a little bit different and some of my water volumes are a little bit different from the recipe but I just thought I'd put it out there so there's no confusion on with the video so this is this is a beer that's been designed to uh, raise help raise money for those affected by the bushfires so we're gonna give a look to what what you get and maybe in a month or so we'll have a taste test of the beer that comes out of this kit just quick rundown of the recipe. Uh, it's 83% uh, malt Europe Pilsen malt, 11% crisp Vienna malt, and 6% wheat malt. Hopped with Cascade uh, in the boil, Ella Steep, and dry hop of both Cascade and Ella. And fermented with Norcal Ale 1. Now you do get a choice of liquid or uh, dry yeast. I've chosen to go liquid because I've been using the uh, dry yeast for a while, which is the USO5. I thought I'd give uh, Norcal Al uh, a go. So when you order the kit, you get all the grain crushed up. You get your hops, uh, as many hops as you need. So the total here, uh, where we got 55 grams Cascade, and 100 grams of Ella. So I have some Cascade left over. And you also get, of course, your yeast, whether it be dry or wet. So let's, uh, now that we've had a quick look at the what comes with the recipe, let's get mashed in. And because early start means early finish. So let's get to it. So it's 7.30 in the morning. We've got six minutes left on the mash. Things are looking nice and clear in there. So you can see, oh, before it steams up. The mash is looking really clear. Took a pH reading, uh, we were 5.6, a little bit high, but it's all right. All our hops weighed out, we've got our first wet hop in the pink cup, the obligatory kids cup. Uh, this 90 minute edition in the green, 15 minute edition in the pink pussycat cup, and then we've got our flame out edition uh, down the bottom. Just make sure you keep your uh, brew day organised, mean that you have a lot less things likely to go wrong, and you'll have a more enjoyable day. We've reached the end of the mash, everything's looking nice and clear, um, so we're up to the sparge. Gloves. We're dealing with hot stuff. We want to be nice and safe. All right. So before we sparge, 
I'm going to put in our first word addition, which is 10 grams of Cascade. In they go. Put the grain basket on. Now, the way that I do it, I set up my pipe in reverse, go on to my HLT. I'll give you a look at this in a minute. Grain the hose in reverse, rinsing out the inside and give me a good sparge. Now you can see, getting a pretty good flow through this grain bed. I'm pretty happy with the crush. And this, I did order it crushed from Beerco, so obviously, I mean, it looked fine uh, when I got it. Start, can smell that cascade already. It's nice. All right, sparge is finished. Come up to the boil. Uh, we were meant to have 27 and a half liters, so you can see that's 28 there. So we're uh, probably about right, maybe a little under in volume, but we've we'll, got to take a gravity reading to see how we are. Um, with all-in-one systems, I find it's a good idea just to start stirring the proteins in uh, as you're coming up to a boil. This also helps to um, get a more accurate gravity reading when you do, and I'll just gently track the um, spoon across the base as well, uh, just in case there's any proteins or anything hiding on the bottom. So yeah, let's take a gravity reading. Right, we're in a boil. I'm just gonna wait for just a little bit more until that gets a little bit more of a rolling boil. And then we'll add our 90 minute addition hops. All right, that's looking a bit better. Let's go in with our 90 minute addition. 10 grams of Cascade. Give that a stir. Start our timer. We're in at uh, 28 degrees. Ground water here is not very cold, so uh, we'll just let the last little bit chill down in the fridge, and uh, then we'll put uh, the yeast in. Uh, we, I'll pitch it around 20 degrees. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long to come down. But now, we've just got clean up to do. If you look at the, uh, yeah, nice little bit of hops and beer left in the uh, fermenter. Let's have a look where we ended up. Okay, so gravity here is 40, I'm calling that 42, 41, 42. We're chasing 44, uh, 144, so a little bit under in gravity. Uh, volume's about right. We're a bit over in uh, our pre boil gravity, so, but I've been noticing that's been happening with a lot of my brews. Um, I think it's to do with the grandfather's markings being incorrect, so I end up with slightly less volume in the mash. So therefore my pre-boil gravity's up. I don't know, that doesn't really make sense. I, th I think my graduations are a little off anyway, which throws my um, numbers out, but it's pretty good. Let's have a taste and a smell. I'm getting a little bit of a, a bit of a marmalade vibe actually. Definitely getting the um, citrus hit from the cascade. A little bit of malt sweetness there. Let's dive in. Cheers. Good bitterness there. Yeah, a bit of that sweetness from the Vienna. Um, yeah, just getting a bit of a fruity, floral, um, hoppy flavor. Not tasting a hell of a lot of wheat, although it was only 5% but it's got really nice, pleasant bitterness there. I think over the course of fermentation, that'll smoothen off a bit and um, we'll end up with a very nice beer. So uh, 
Cheers, thanks for following along and again thanks to Beerco for sending me this kit uh, for review. Hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the video and uh, yeah, if you're thinking about uh, what to brew next for your all grain batch, jump on uh, Beerco's website and give the Resilience beer a go. It's a very nice beer and it also helps to uh, give money back to those affected by the bushfires. So this has been Stas with another video brought to you by Beerco. Signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.